What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a videos and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and welcome to Weapons Explained, the show where yours truly delivers the most serious overview of weapons possible with absolutely zero jokes whatsoever. Well, zero good jokes. Now this one has a special dedication. Uh, this one goes out to all of my fellow Nightwing fans out there and to all of my Nightwing fans, you're welcome. We're talking about a streaming stick today, so uh, let's get to it. So guys, before we get started, just want to let you guys know I do have a Patreon now. I recently released it. If you want to get yourself a cool uh, Modern Ninja hoodie, maybe a custom hat, or any other of the great tiers that I have, or give me suggestions for tiers, because that would also be nice, because I've never done this before. So, help a brother out. But, if that interests you, check out the link down below, uh, and you know, you know how that works, just in the description, check it out. So there's absolutely no better way for me to start this explanation video than to pop every single one of your bubbles. They aren't actually called screaming sticks. Yeah, they're, they're not called the Screaming Sticks. The art they come from is called Arnis, or more well known as Kali or Eskrima, which is why they have gotten the name Eskrima Sticks. Sticks of Eskrima, the, the Eskrima Sticks. Yeah, exactly, you see, how, you see how it works there. However, the real name of this weapon is a Baston. No wise. No, 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 that joke doesn't even apply here. His name is Gaston. Chill, no jokes today, this is serious. These weapons are usually made from rattan, an inexpensive Southeast Asian vine. This makes it hard yet durable and very lightweight. The unique material also means that it won't snap under pressure. The material actually instead shreds apart when used to its breaking point. This keeps the user safe when practicing with these weapons, keeping shards of wood breaking off and flying towards someone because that would not be good. This also makes it useful against blades, making it much harder for a blade, a sword, a knife to cut through. Because you know you're a boss when you can bring a stick to a knife fight. I have the power of God and anime on my side! Wait, you ah! Guys, this whole no joke thing is not gonna work. No, I, I can't, I can't help myself. I'm sorry. Many modern schools use these as a transition to bladed weapons such as dual swords. The movements are practically identical and the lack of blade means it's more forgiving to students who mess up every now and then and uh, nick themselves in the back of the head or the shin or their partner's fingers. Any of that uh, would be a lot worse if, you know, it had a blade to it. So, safety first. So we can be safe. Yes, Dora, safety first. So if you're looking for a way to train with the blade, but don't want to actually use a blade in your training, check out the links down in the description uh, if you are interested in getting your own. I link, put a link to 10th Degree Weaponry if you are a fan of this channel or watch some of my other videos on this channel. You know that I love 10th Degree Weaponry and their stuff, so I'm leaving links down below for you guys. But until next time, don't forget to do all the different YouTube stuff like like, comment, subscribe. Actually, comment and tell me what other videos you would like me to see or you would like me to do in this series. Let me know what you think of this series. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.